All right, let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, fresh off a 31-17 victory over their division rival, Las Vegas Raiders, who credit to the Raiders have been playing some good football as of late. But look, one of the things about the Chiefs, and they've proven it over the past three, four, five years or so, that as an organization, as a team, they're very good at blocking out the noise, blocking out what the so-called experts say they should do, and focusing on what they believe will work. And we we are starting to see big-time dividends of that. We've got a report from Newsday that highlights, once again, the Chiefs outsmarting the so-called experts. Let's start with the report. Might as well read from it and talk about it on the other side. All right, just about every Chiefs fan was clamoring at the NFL's trade deadline for general manager Brett Veach to swing a deal for some help at wide receiver, where Kansas City has been struggling to find someone to step up in the passing game. Except for this, the someone the Chiefs needed to step up may already have been on the team. Second round pick Rasheed Rice, who got off to a slow start in the complex system run by Chiefs coach Andy Reid, has steadily improved during the middle portion of the season. And he had his best game yet last Sunday in Las Vegas, when Rice had a game-high 10 targets, 8 receptions, bucko 7 yards, including a short throw that became a 39-yard touchdown catch. He's been getting better every week, Reid acknowledged, and he's working to be more Patrick-friendly. What does Patrick-friendly mean? When we're doing special teams and Rice is not in there, Reed said he goes over and works with Pat. They talk through things. They Then they run routes. This is a look where I'm seeing you on this route against this coverage, for example. They spend time with each other there and then off the field likewise for meetings. They keep an open communication there. All right, so one of the things with the Chiefs to understand about what the goal is, right? And this is the reality because we leave, we live in a week-to-week business in the NFL season. The Chiefs are not playing to win games in week eight, week nine, week 10, right? They're not fighting for playoff spots. They're not fighting to make the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs. They've got Patrick Mahomes. They've got Travis Kelsey. Good offensive line. Great running backs, right? Up and coming receiving core. Really good defense. Andy Reid. The list goes on and on and on. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to win their division. They're going to have at least one, probably multiple home playoff games. The Chiefs are playing to peak to the playoffs. Let me say that again. The Chiefs are playing to be at their best, not in week 17, not in week 18, but in week 19, 20, 21. We're talking divisional round, conference championship round, and Super Bowl. That's what the Chiefs are trying to do, and that's why they didn't make an addition at the trade deadline for multiple big-name receivers to add a big-time playmaker because they understood, rightly so, I think, that they have the guys on the roster. In this case, the guy, I think Rasheed Rice is emerging as the guy, their number one receiver, to carry them down the stretch. They just needed to work with him to allow him to grow and develop and give him patience to get better and better, and we're starting to see him pick up a little bit. We're going to see this momentum build the rest of the regular season because, again, the goal for the Chiefs is to have Rasheed Rice be a true number one, not in September, not in October, not November, frankly, not in December, but in January and February, and it looks like that strategy is paying off once again for the Chiefs. Great move by them. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this situation, but first, Chiefs fans got an interesting game against the Green Bay Packers who are playing really good football as of late. That's your next opponent, but give us your prediction, Chiefs versus Packers, in the comment section below. But Myas, what do you think of everything with the Chiefs and what they've done at the wide receiver position and with Rasheed Rice? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, credit to two really astute, you know, YouTube football connoisseurs who talked about this all the way back in May, made a couple of great videos about how Rasheed Rice came out of college, came out asking me, this guy looked great. He really impressed in training camp. And you know, everyone just needs a little bit of time to get to where they need to. NFL is different than college. Coming from a school like SMU definitely isn't going to do you too many favors as far as being to the level of the NFL talent. It just takes a little bit of time to get yourself there. And Rasheed Rice, he really has took to, to like flies like honey. This guy has just been absolutely phenomenal. I think he's an excellent player, and I think he's going to be the next big thing in the NFL, not just for Kansas City. I think this guy is looking like one heck of a player. I mean, he's the second best graded receiver on this team behind Travis Kelsey, but he's not too far behind him. This year, Kelsey, the third best tight end graded per PFF, and that's probably, you know, there's some scrutiny in there as well. 83 overall grade. Rasheed Rice, 82.5 grade. They're neck and neck. Rasheed Rice has been absolutely phenomenal, grading 15th out of 122 wide receivers. This guy, he's not even the number one receiver on this team right now as far as position. I think he probably is as far as skill level. And this guy is grading out of the top 15 receiver in the NFL in just his first year. I think he's absolutely phenomenal, and I think exactly what you're saying is the truth. This is a team who knew what they had. They knew what they're doing. They're not looking to win and be their best now. They're not looking to win and be their best in the end of the season. They know that they can do just enough to get to the playoffs, 
They're looking to have this team 100% ready to go as soon as they make the playoffs. And this guy, Rasheed Rice, I think we're in for a very interesting playoff when we can see what he can do. I think he's going to put up some big-time numbers because he has been emerging, he's been growing, and this is something that we've seen the Chiefs do time and time again. They're able to find these diamond-in-the-rough type players. You look at Rice in the second round, and you know, this guy, people didn't have first-round grades on him. He wasn't looking like the real thing. This is a guy I think we're going to do redrafts and see that he was easily going to be like a top-10 type pick for the receiver talent he was. And I think this is something that Veach and the Chiefs have been doing very well for a very long time now, picking up diamonds in the rough. And I'm really excited to see what this guy does come playoff time. And I think let's give some credit to the Chiefs organization, kind of ignoring the outside noise, because you could hear everyone, whether ESPN, Fox Sports, or wherever, you know, journalists just talking, writing articles and columns about how the Chiefs wide receiver room is just absolutely atrocious, how they missed an opportunity. They needed to be aggressive at wide receiver, more aggressive at the trade deadline. And look, the reality is we saw with the Patriots for, I think, two decades, it felt like where the Patriots would lose a couple games early. They look awful. And people would say, that's the end of the dynasty. Tom Brady stinks. Bill Belichick's done. And they'd win their final six or seven games and make a deep playoff run and win a Super Bowl. You know, that's the reality of where the Chiefs are at right now. Obviously, they had the early period of the Chiefs' reign of excellence where they were just stacked with offensive playmakers and it was a little easier. But the reality is in this part, when you're in the Chiefs situation, all the money tied up in Kelsey, in Mahomes. You've got to develop these young guys over the course of the season and focus on peaking at the right time. You can't do that if you add veterans midseason. That kind of detracts from that opportunity. So, again, credit to Andy Reid, credit to Brett Veach for making a plan. We're going to develop Rasheed Rice over the course of the season and sticking with, with the plan, and it looks like it's coming to fruition absolutely perfectly. I tell you what, folks, by the time the playoffs come around, Rasheed Rice, the way it's looking, he could be a legitimate number one outside receiving option for this Chiefs offense.